Let's move on to a 3.30 p.m. start, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, number 14th-ranked Tennessee going up against number three-ranked Georgia. Both teams 2-0, 2-0 in the SEC. And we have Georgia opening up as 14-point favorites at Bet365 and being bet down to 12.5-point favorites. This total as well, opening up at 45, being bet down to 42 and a half. John Ryan, take it away. Tennessee, Georgia. This is a, a season where I don't think we have to feel sorry for the Tennessee Volunteers. It always seems in previous seasons they're the the team that you want to you kind of pull for as an underdog against some of these uh, bigger giants in the SEC. Uh, but at the end of the day, they they end up losing and sometimes losing in horrible fashion. But this year, head coach Jeremy Pruitt has 17 starters of the previous 22 coming back and are back. And that's a huge factor for them this year, uh, especially having junior redshirt quarterback Jeremy Guarantano uh, returning, and his experience is going to be invaluable. It's already paying dividends. Um, he's gone 33 for 54, 61%, 449 passing yards, two TDs, and zero interceptions. So his job really is to not make mistakes. There's enough power in the running game and uh, depth on the offensive line, and in my opinion, is the deepest in the SEC. And when you have the offensive line coming back that played together for at least one season, that is only a good thing. Uh, so I think this game is, is going to be much, much closer than that point spread indicates. Um, you know, as we've seen with the, the Georgia team, I had Auburn last week, and I'll admit that I lost. You know, that was, that was a horrible play, but it's just one play in the course of a whole season. And I think everybody gets that point. Um, you know, the Bulldogs had three official returning starters on offense, yet their offense is playing like they've been playing together for four years. So, you know, having a, the, a quarterback, which is uh, Stetson Bennett, and he's a great story if you, if you guys out there have any time to go check him out. He's a walk-on. And who doesn't love a walk-on? You know, it kind of reminds you of the Rudy thing, but this is a, a real stud. Wasn't recruited by anybody, wanted to go to Georgia, told the coach, hey, I'm here to play. He's five foot 11, 190 pounds, and hardly the prototypical quarterback, even in the SEC, let alone Division Three. Not putting down Division Three because there's some athletes in there too that, that do get drafted in the NFL. But you understand my point. It's not the typical athlete coming out of high school that won five state titles at, at the quad A level and has all this pedigree behind him. So it's a neat story with him. And he has stepped up in the starting quarterback position like he's been playing it his whole life. So that that is a very good situation for them. The betting line is, uh, is giving us a play of the 20 sports books I, I track. Uh, there's a little bit over a thousand tickets now bet. It's pretty even at 49.5% volunteers, 50.5% on the Bulldogs. However, the money flow, and that's what is so important, paints a different picture, seeing 78% of the money on the volunteers and 22% on the Bulldogs. So this undeniably shows that the smart money, the bigger, better, the professional gambler is on Tennessee, and I think rightfully so. Uh, getting double digits with this team, with all the returning starters, this early in the season, week four, is, is too good to be true, in my opinion. So I, I like the volunteers here quite a bit. And our big ragu put out a great article on odds.com before the season started with him thinking that the volunteers were going to give a ton of value throughout the season and certainly being right so far, Tennessee now at 12 and a half. What number did you get them at? 13. It actually opened at some places at 14 and a half. Wow. Um, and it's been dropping. So again, I'm not concerned about the, the, the decline in price. Uh, because of what I just said about the money flows, and you would expect it to, to start dropping. Um, but it's dropping for the right reasons. So I, I, you know, even if it goes to 11 and, and there's guys out there that can't bet the game until, um, you know, Saturday morning, 
and the line is still double digits, which I'm sure it will be, uh, it's still a, a great opportunity in my opinion. I, you know, if you told me Sunday morning uh, and I didn't see the game that the Tennessee Volunteers uh, upset the Georgia Bulldogs, I don't, I don't think I'd be all that surprised. I would be surprised if Georgia beat them 28 to 10. Uh, that, that would be pretty shocking to me in the other direction. Do you agree with this market move on the total? We saw it open up here at 45, and it's down to 42 and a half at some books. Yeah, because both defenses are playing extraordinarily well. Uh, there's actually a under betting system I'll share with you. Um, this is a 10-year uh, system uh, that supports the under. Um, it's a 33 and 10 record over the last 10 years. The requirements are pretty simple. You're going to bet the under with the, I'm sorry, you're going to bet the under with any team in a game that has a total of 42 and a half to 49 and a half points, including those numbers after allowing 14 or fewer points in two consecutive games and is facing an opponent after allowing seven or fewer points in the first half of each of their last two games. So you can see that the defenses, uh, Tennessee and Georgia, fit into this betting system, and the system has hit 77% over 10 years. So that's – I don't have an official play on the under, but if you wanted to do a parlay, I think it would have to be Tennessee and the under. I like it. I like it. Official plays from John Ryan backing Tennessee plus 13, backing Oklahoma and backing Florida. Florida, Oklahoma, and Tennessee for John Ryan in NCAA football. John, great, great stuff. 